new video host alert hi guys it's amy from now polish baby 90 and welcome to today's video today i'm here with a mother's day collab it is mother's day today here in the uk i know it's different in certain parts of the world but here in the uk it is mother's day um, so George from George's Nails um, asked if people want to do some sort of Mother's Day collab. Um, so there's going to be a few of us and I will link us down below for you that are doing the collab today. It's a very loose theme. It's kind of just anything you want to do with Mother's Day. So how my spin on it is going to be is polishes that my mum would wear. Backstory on my mum. She's amazing, but she is not a makeup, nails type of gal. I've never ever seen my mum with makeup on ever in my entire life. And, and as we got older, as we, yeah, I guess together, we got older, I definitely see my mum more with painted nails and manicures and pedicures more often now than I ever did in my entire life. She has always been very well presented and clean and she always had these beautiful medium length nails that were always really well looked after, but she's never been... Can you hear Austin like playing to himself? Uh, but she's never really been somebody who's gone for full out glam or statement pieces like nails so we're going to go over some of the polishes that my mum would definitely wear um, and just a little chit chat for mother's day i know the elephant in the room this is a lot going on in the world at the moment so i just want to say that i hope that you're all okay and dealing with this as best that you can i know it's extremely hard on people and for me personally it feels like there's no light at the end of the tunnel but um Let's talk about nail polish, just past the type of day. I know I've definitely been enjoying having some more time to paint my nails these days. So, this is what nail polish would my mum wear? The first category are kind of like your stereotypical nudes. So something in the in the more milky white pink range is going to be Mixed Taupe by Essie. Now this is something that like I say is in between a nude and a cream for me. This is maybe something a little bit brighter for her. She won't wear white nails per se, but it is something that is clean and fresh and that is what she is all about. If you went for something that's a bit more of a sheer kind of finish, you have these Orly Breathables and that whole range is really nice for people who want a bit of colour on their nails but they don't want too much fuss in the statement and this one is nourishingly nude which is their kind of like naked manicure for my skin tone anyway um, and in three coats it's still a little bit sheer just okay, a nice wash of colour on the nails there and the last one in this collection is going to be Zoya's Rue this is a really popular shade and it's great because it's a nude a little bit purple a little bit taupe but it is still very flattering on multiple skin types and tones and it is great just for a little bit of a statement a little bit of a pop it's definitely a nice fresh clean manicure and for the majority of what I'm showing you that is what my mum is going to be going for another color that she does tend to wear quite a lot is kind of like browns so the first one is Zoya's Mary and this is like a nice chocolate but again it has a little bit of drops of purple in there a little bit warmer still of a shade she probably would wear this on her toes as well she definitely has darker colors on her toes than on her hands normally if she's going to have them painted um, and yeah, just a little bit, something a bit darker, a bit more chocolatey. So that one was Mary by Zoya. If she was feeling extra fancy, she might wear something which is a bit more bronzy. I've definitely seen her with some bronze nails in the past. So this one is a bronze ambition. And this is a brown colour similar to Mary, but I would say Mary is a little bit more cool toned. And this has a ton of little bit of bronze fleckies and flakes in there just to make it a little bit more metallic. But again, still quite subtle. Can you sense a the theme here? So go all the way out there she might wear something which is like this one and this is made it just to seventh hill and this is a more of a bronze rose gold foil effect finish she wouldn't go super metallic but i think these ones with the kind of like specklings of metallic and flakes opposed to a metallic finish completely do you know what i mean this is definitely more up her street i don't know what collection this came out in i don't feel like i have a lot from this collection um maybe it's washington I'm not sure, but that would definitely be something she would wear. And then the last couple are more toe type colours for her. And if she's going to wear a darker colour, it will be a deep plum colour. Don't know why. So whenever I see her with pedicures, especially, she always has like this shade on her nails. And this example is What's the Hatter with You, which came out in the second Alice in Wonderland collection that OPI did. And just sort of, like I say, a dark, plummy, vampy colour, which is not really what I tend to wear on my nails. I wear some similarities. Like I really like a good nude, but I don't really like chocolatey brown that much. And I don't like dark plum that much. So me and my mum do differ quite a lot on our um, experiences and what we like to wear on our nails for sure sure uh, but like I said something like that would definitely be featuring on the toes and another one is Joni by Zoya my mum 
might wear this on her hands. It's kind of in that range where she might do, like I say, if she's going to, it's going to be some sort of neutral tone, like a cream neutral, a pink neutral, a brown, taupe, purple, all in that sort of subtle range. It basically, if it's a colour that features in the Zoya Neutrals Naturals collection, that range, my mum would probably be down to wear it. She's just that type of gal. Um, so finishing us up there, we have Joni. So like I say, just something short and fun and just talking about a little bit about my mum and what she likes to wear. I'm really interested to know what your experiences all are with your own mums. Do they wear a lot of nail polish? Do they wear a lot of makeup? Um, where did you get your flair from? Because I, like I say, I definitely grew up in a, a non-makeup nail polish household. And I think I guess the way of like, I don't know, I also say social media, but I always did kind of wear makeup growing up before kind of social media became a huge thing. I would also always wear bits of makeup and I started painting my nails when I was maybe 16, 17. Um, so I guess it was just that being a girl and wanting to wear makeup. And maybe my mum did wear makeup when she was younger. I, I never really asked her. She just never never wears makeup at all like I say the nails are definitely a new thing so I hope you're all celebrating Mother's Day as best you can I know that we're just going to be heading round to my mum's to have a nice roasted dinner um so we're going to be doing that and just trying to I guess have a enclosed quarantine type Mother's Day what is happening I just say Good thoughts out there to all of you. I hope you're all enjoying your Mother's Day as much as you can. And for those of you that are going to be having Mother's Day in a few months' time, happy Mother's Day. Just an early Mother's Day from me to you. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.